Jayla, where are you going? Out with some of my friends. Dressing like that? What's wrong with it? Well, nothing if you don't mind the wrong kind of attention. First of all, you used to dress like this all the time, so I don't want to hear it. Yeah, you're right. I used to dress like that. Do you know why I don't dress like that anymore? Let me guess, is it because you got your heart broken? Well, not really. It's because I was displaying my body more than my character. Well, I don't know about you, but my body looks good, and I think it's kind of worthy of showing off. Well, I'm pretty sure other guys are going to be thinking that exact same thing. Well, it's not like I'm easy or anything. It's not like I'm going to let some random guy play with my emotions. Then maybe you shouldn't play around with yourself. Try dressing with some respect and some modesty. Like, you know what the Bible says, don't you? So now you're going to give me some type of lecture? It's not that big of a deal. Well, actually it is. In the Bible, it says in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9, women should adorn themselves modestly and appropriately and sensibly in seemly apparel, not with elaborate hair arrangements or gold or pearls or expensive clothing. Sis, are you sure you're not just jealous of me? It's not like I'm committing a crime. Listen, I'm not jealous of you or anything. I'm just telling you that if you keep dressing provocative like that, you're going to attract the wrong type of people. So I'm telling you for your protection. If you want respect, dress like it. Bye, sis. What's got you upset? Well, it's just my sister keeps overreacting over little stuff. Like, she literally got on me today about what I was wearing. But what you're wearing looks good, though. Why would she get on you about that? Well, I don't really know. She just said I'm going to attract the wrong type of attention. Well, don't listen to her. She's just being overprotective. That's exactly what I was thinking. Hey, yo, check out who just came in. That's Michael. Remember when he used to go to school with us? Yeah, I remember him. No lie, he really likes you. Wait, what? Did he tell you that? Yeah, he actually said that. He was like, are you close to her? And I was like, yeah, I'm close to her. And he was like, well, is she single? Can you hook me up with her? And I was like, I can see what I can do. So that's why I brought you out here to ask if like you were into him because he thought you were kind of cute. Well, honestly, I do not know. I don't even know if I'm like his type. I mean, he doesn't even know me. Well, maybe you should go out with him and try to see how much he can get to know about you. Well, I guess I can try to get to know him. I just don't understand why she just doesn't listen to what I say. Every day I try to look out for her and she just doesn't appreciate it. Maybe I should just go get myself a drink. I mean, one little sip never hurt anyone. Rita, what did I tell you about drinking? Mom, you don't understand. I need to do this. Rita, we talked about your drinking. You're supposed to be better than this. Oh, I'm supposed to be better than this? What about this family? What about the fact that I'm different from everybody in this house? What about my sister doing whatever she wants to do? And you're worried about me being better? I've been trying my best. Don't you understand that this is all overwhelming for me? Listen, Rita, I know that you're upset, but you're still going to have to stop being disrespectful and honor us. What do you think I've been trying to do all these years? You think I've been trying to dishonor you? I've been trying to make you proud of me, but it seems like you don't appreciate any kind of progress I make. It's like no matter what I do, it's never good enough for you. So what do you think that makes me feel like? Other than a disappointment. You know, I just want to see you be the best you can be, Rita. Um, ma'am, do you think you're going to be able to drive home tonight? Um, I don't know. I think I'll be fine. Um, ma'am, just out of your safety, I think you should call somebody just in case. Alright, no problem. I'll call somebody in a minute. Hey, um, don't you think we're kind of moving too fast? Well, if I'm being honest, I don't think we're moving fast at all. Michael, it's just been the first day. Like, you don't even really know me. Besides, I'm still learning about you. Well, I feel like I know all I need to know. Oh, so what do you know about me? That you're beautiful and that I want you? Is that it? I know you want me too. Well, I still don't think I could make a commitment to you because my sister used to always bring up this verse from Matthew chapter 7, verses 16 through 20. It says, By their fruit you will recognize them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus, by their fruit you will recognize them. And since I don't really know you, it's going to be hard for me to, like, trust you. Well, what about this? We can lay in the bed together and I can show you more about myself.
Well, I'm not really ready for all that. Come on, stop wasting time. Do you honestly expect me to hop in bed on the first date without any commitment? Well, I committed my time to you, doesn't that count? Wow, it really seems like you don't really care about me. Well, actually I do, but it seems like you just here to waste my time, so you can go if you want. Actually, I think I'll take you up on that offer. Bye. Thanks for taking me home, David. I really appreciate it. It's no problem at all. But are you going to be okay, though? Well, I should be. I'm just worried about my sister. Why are you worried? Because I feel like she's going down the wrong path and I know how her friends are. Well, try not to worry too much because it says in Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 through 7, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Yeah, you're right, but it says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 3 through 4, it is God's will that you should be sanctified, that you should avoid sexual immorality, that each of you should learn to control your own body in a way that is holy and honorable, and I feel like my sister is just being reckless with herself. Well, who's to say she'll always be that way? We all made unwise decisions in our life. I'm pretty sure once she experiences the consequences of her decision, she'll remember what you said and realign herself on the right path. Well, I really hope that's true. Thank you, David. You're welcome. Have a nice night. I cast all my worries to you, Lord. I trust you. Come in. Hey, sis, I'm sorry for storming out on you earlier today. It's okay. How was your day? Trashy. One of my crushes just turned out to be a jerk. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. I should have known just by how he carried himself. And I also should have listened to you. I really appreciate that, sis. And also, I'll try to dress a little bit more appropriate. If I can make it look stylish. But on a serious note, sis, try not to revert back to your old habits. Because I can tell you've been drinking. I'll try, sis. I love you, sis. I love you too, Jayla.